Lobbed into the box, cleared. Polo closed it down. Meller giving chase. And in behind go Maryland Bobcats. Cut across the face of goal. Maryland has the opening goal. It's the eighth minute of play and the visitors have the opener. Just talking about all the space, right? With the speed to burn, especially on this front line for Maryland. Travis Ward, the long ball up. First touch. How smart. That will scroll all the way through. Still is on for a mole. That short lived, however. Approaching end line. The option was there. Blocked the first time. Now off the outside of the netting. Although the trial was there and a partial offer was given, meaning his opportunity to progress with the MLS Next Pro Squad and work his way into a contract. Actually opted the other direction, if you're being faithful to the union, and swept itself towards the evil empire. Now works in sales for Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember who it was who was in the union organization. They, they have a staff game that they play. It ultimately caught the eye of Ernie Stewart by playing in the staff game as an intern. Ball through from Paula. Whipped across. Still on here for Westchester. Jackson climbs out to take it. Options navigating. They've gone short to re-tee this. Ultimately, they've come away with nothing. Half and half of what we were discussing. Told you the idea was to move it around and then a secondary ball to the backside. The difference is, is never from there it's going to be enough power. Truly challenge Trevor Jackson. But Westchester has settled into the game quite well. Good pressure up top, couple of turnovers and Maryland has departed from. Well, Karam's down, appeal for offside, ball's in, but it won't count. The past five minutes from the Maryland Bobcats. <laughs> Miami United FC, knockout next pro side, Chattanooga, blasted target, Jackson. Knocks it straight down. It does appear quite the start at Virtue Field in Burlington. The first Open Cup game ever in the state of Vermont. Vermont Green lead Lexington 3-1 at halftime. League two side might knock out the league one side. Lucini. Option behind feathering over was Roby. Pola pulling wide. Ricks. Robinson kept it alive, through now Miller, saved, Jackson, follow, wide and into the hill. In the midst of Ramadan, and halftime arrives here in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Maryland do have the lead, 1-0, Dev. Well, you stuck around this long. Time for another 45 minutes to this dandy. From Wayne, Pennsylvania, the opening round of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Time.
free kick to West Chester. Flicked across the halfway line by Roby. Maryland defeated OC Nor'easters in the second round last year, ultimately fell to Pittsburgh. Maryland a chance. That'll go rolling wide of the post. Cam Sanders, a bit trouble tracking this Abdu jump. Started to get comfortable. Really surprised this ball doesn't come back across with the move that he puts on Luca Miller. A mistake by Maryland, not hitting the frame first and foremost, but more importantly, the incorrect decision overall. Should have come square. The way that Abdu Jam's lining this thing up, maybe he's got an idea. Jam's former teammate Lancaster has already scored an amazing free kick. Jam can't quite follow suit with Lancaster of Lexington. Who brought it to 4-2 against Vermont, but over 4,000 in attendance, Vermont still ahead there. He's got a decent amount of pace on this from such a distance. Doesn't hit us with its laces either, goes full power with the instep. I would say that the one thing that if you wanted to be critical of Maryland over time is the good news, they don't really vary in effort. The bad news is they also don't stray from their tactics. So. Higher, Matty! Higher! Flag stays down for Maryland. Ball angled inward. Back toward Espinal. Espinal lets fly and scores! His second tonight, Maryland in command on the road. He scored in the eighth and now the 57th. And Maryland can taste an opening round victory now. You can see the quality from the Hondur actually analyzing what was going on in front of him. Polo went for goal. Ball bobbled and recovered relax, by relax. Jackson. And notice it though, he, he had the right idea. Well off to the right, Trevor Jackson. Didn't fully commit to it though. If he gets the angle right there, it's 2 1. Come on, come on! Close the gaps! Maybe there's something on here for Westchester. It's more action for Jackson, but no goals for the Predators. And as you know, I'm of the firm belief that if you're going to give it in the first minute, you'll give it in the 81st minute. Correct. However. On a card or not, to me, it's still not a card. Right. Whether he's sitting on one or not. What a strike. And that off the post, touched over by Sanders. Corner coming as Maryland tried to put the finishing touches on here in the first round. He had in his hands. He quickly collected. Oh, well done. Certainly Cam Sanders taking offense to all the praise that his counterpart Trevor Jackson on the other end of the field has been given. Goalkeeper from Westchester who was third team all CAA. Couple of seasons back for Drexel stepping up. corner for Maryland swinging away from goal. This lines up really nicely, ultimately a worm burner. Well, I would guess the best thing you could do is get John Austin Ricks off this field as quickly as you can. If you're gonna make a change, now would be a good time. Doesn't appear they're quite intent on that at the moment. Players come off on either side. That's Chaz. Charles Wilson onto the field. Uh, Ryan James just before that, who has been a massive 
jolt of energy to this Westchester squad. Lee Santangelo saying that we probably wouldn't be in this situation were it not for his efforts. Goals and assists galore to help lead them into this Open Cup proper. That'll get out. Driven side to side. Travis, this is Brett. This is Roby. Clever move. Oh, Roby's not done yet. And Good he game. slips it back. Brett is the save from Jackson. He is next level tonight. Trevor Jackson just being hung out to dry by his midfield and back line. And watch this save. 6-6. Six, six. I'll tell you, Mike, his reaction is one thing, but the athleticism in such tight-knit quarters to just get a paw on it from that angle and pace. Maryland carry forward and into the second round, and Westchester is cast away from the 2024 U.S. Open Cup.